play seven days a week for just five rupees? They were asking. They yelled means they made a great noise. They were saying that seven days that we have to play and you are giving us only five rupees. They stormed away and never played on the street again. They went away and they were made, never played uh, cricket at night in that street. See, this was a trick by the old man. What did he do in the second and third week? Why? Why do you think the old man is a master of the game? So the heading you see, the master of the game. Now you will know why it is given. And it will be good for you to write uh, about the caption of this story. As we conclude our 7th standard learning English, we shall now listen to Nandana Ji Krishna as she presents the activities. Hello everyone, this is Nandana Ji Krishna from St. Reza CG HSS in Naglam, studying in 7th standard. Today, I will introduce you the last activity of the last chapter of the last unit, Moments of Humor. The activity is to collect jokes and stories of wit and wisdom from the life of Tenali Raman. Mullah Nasruddin, Birbal, etc. and to prepare a class magazine. I know it is quite easy for us to do because we have done it in the previous years and this year too. As we all know, to prepare a magazine, first of all, we need to pick a topic, then choose a title, choose a cover article, find a cover image, design the masthead, Write body articles, incorporate graphics, decide the feature articles, place thumbnails, create table of contents, back page and notes and printing. Let me give you an example of Penali Raman story. Once when the King Krishna Devaraya was sitting in the court, he heard some voices outside. What's that commotion outside? Guards, find out! A guard returned with the village headman. Your Majesty, please help us. The village is flooded with the rats. We are suffering a big loss because of the rats. They destroy our fields. Please do something and save us, my lord. Hmm. Okay. Let me discuss with our ministers and find out a way to get rid of the rats. The next day, the king and the ministers discussed about the matter. Do any one of you have a suggestion for the problem? Yes, my lord. We can give a cat to each family. As we know, cats uh, eat rats. But how the poor people will feed the cat? No problem. We will give a cow along with the cat. The cow's milk should be given to the cats. The next day, a cat and a cow were sent to each family. Like everyone, even Tenali too received a cat and a cow. Everyone poured the milk to the cat. Within a few days, the cats became plump and healthy. What a dumb idea! I will not give milk to the cat. Raman thought of a plan. He went inside and brought milk in a plate. It was very, very hot. He placed it before the cat. The cat eagerly licked the milk. The moment it licked the milk, it jumped and ran off shouting. The next day, Raman placed a plate of milk before the cat. The moment the cat saw the milk, it ran away. Instead of the cat, Raman and his family had a feast with that milk every day. Months passed. I would like to see the cats that I have given. Tomorrow, Everyone has to come with their cat. The next day, as ordered by the king, everyone lined up with their cats. Hmm, good, good. 
Everyone's cat is looking good and healthy. But the king was shocked to see Tenali's cat. Raman, what happened? Your cat is very lean. What to do, my lord? It's not drinking the milk. The moment it sees the milk, it is running away. I am helpless. I don't believe it. A cat hates milk? It is impossible. My lord, you can check for yourself. God, can you bring me some milk? The guard brought milk. The moment the cat saw the milk, it jumped from Raman's hand and ran away. Guards, catch it! The guard brought the cat. Open its mouth and let me check it. The king examined it. Ah, the tongue has got blisters. Now I got it. Raman, you would have given hot milk to the cat. That's the reason the cat is running away from the milk. My lord, please forgive me. I would like to say that it is the duty of the king to take care of the people. The milk should be given to the people and not to the cat. Moreover, only the cat with empty stomach will hunt for rats. If stomach is filled with milk, it is not going to hunt for the rats. The purpose itself is defeated. I realize the truth. The king, as usual, gave a bag of gold coins to Rama. Here is an example of Mullah Nasruddin's story. Mullah Nasruddin and the trial. Mullah Nasruddin's wife was worried that her husband didn't earn a living. This caused her a lot of stress. She thought her husband, like other husbands, should work and earn a living for the family. As she usually did, she started questioning the husband again, which soon became an argument. Wife angrily said, Why can't you be like normal husbands and do some work? and earn a living. Dear wife, I am a worker of the Almighty God. How can I do another job? Dearest husband, maybe you can then ask your God to give you something in return for your service, retorted his wife. Answered Mullah calmly, Dearest wife, you are right. I hadn't thought of asking God for any returns for my service. Maybe that's why he doesn't give me anything. Oh, then please go and ask your almighty God for some return for your service. The wife grumbled. Mullah Nasruddin went to the garden near his house. He sat down on the ground and opened his arms looking towards the sky. He said loudly, Oh God, since I am your humble and devoted servant, Will you give me a hundred gold coins for my devotion towards you? Mullah's neighbor Ahmad was in the balcony and he heard this. He decided to play a prank on Mullah. He threw a bag full of hundred gold coins towards Mullah. A shocked and surprised Mullah opened the bag to find a hundred gold coins in the bag. He got up and went home with the bag. He called his wife and showed her the bag and said, See, I am such a good devotee of the Almighty that he gave me hundred gold coins. His wife happily took out a coin from the bag and went to the market. Seeing Mullah's wife shopping, their neighbor Ahmad's wife grew suspicious. She had a word with Ahmad about this. Ahmad stormed into Mullah Nasruddin's house and angrily demanded his hundred gold coins back. Mullah remarked back, How dare you ask for my gold coins? I know you overheard me when I asked the Almighty God for the gold coins. I should sue you in court for justice. An angry Ahmad replied, Mullah pleadingly, my friend Ahmad, I am a poor man. I don't have any good clothes or even means to travel. The judge will surely trust you more. A resigned Ahmad 
gave Mullah Nasruddin his jacket and horse too. They went to the court. At the court, the judge listened to Ahmed's complaint. He turned to Mullah and asked him, "Do you want to say anything?" "My neighbor Ahmed is completely mad," replied Mullah. The judge asked Mullah if he had any proof. "Yes," replied Mullah. "Well, he assumes everything I own is his. First it's the gold coins, then it's the jacket, then it's the horse," replied Mullah. The judge asked, "Is this true, Ahmed?" Ahmed was very upset and angry on hearing this. He replied angrily to the judge, "Yes." The judge looks at both of them and said, "There is no point to Ahmed's complaint. You can both leave." Now let's see the moving friend. <laughs> Dear virtual viewers, here we end our seven standard lessons from the first unit till this last unit. Thanks for all your valuable support, and we know that with us you are also enjoying our videos. With a gratitude heart, we conclude our English lessons today. Thank you.